A very good day to you. Thanks for clicking on to the Tuesday edition of the video. We're going to look at the uh, bigger picture today globally, both in the sea surface temperature anomalies and also the precipitation distribution around the world because the the warmer and colder waters is definitely having a, 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 a main driving uh, force to the atmosphere and we're seeing the feedback uh, at this moment in time, particularly so across uh, the Indian Ocean where the, the IOD has went neutral, but the, the Madden Julian Oscillation has been a significant player as well in creating heatwave conditions uh, for Thailand and Southeast Asia, and also record-breaking rainfall across equatorial Africa here. But it's hard to believe we're already in to the, the final day of June now. We're starting to push into the, the middle part of the summertime, and hopefully... Uh, after uh, a very shaky start to summer 2020 we can have some positive with people getting out and hopefully getting to enjoy not only the great outdoors but also the weather as well as we go into July and August as well but uh, we're, we're continuing to see the, the El Nino here trying to develop at least over the eastern equatorial Pacific cold water extending down the west coast of South America Warm water extending from the Gulf of Alaska, looping round into the, the Sea of Japan. Uh, very hot conditions here and extending down into Southeast Asia. So what in a sense we've got is we've got warm water over the Western Indian Ocean. That's a good sign and has been a driving force to uh, a, a quick and, and healthy start to the monsoon season. Um, because we are seeing significant rainfall. Cherrapunji, one of the wettest places on Earth, received over two metres of rain in the last six days, and we are going to see more rainfall over the next uh, several days as well. Because what, in a sense, we're seeing is that warm water is fueling the low-level uh, winds, the monsoon winds, into the, 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 the Indian subcontinent. What we're going to see over the next few weeks is that northward progression that uh, natural northward progression of rainfall. So this is the rainfall anomalies over the next several days. Uh, you can see here above normal over India, Western India as well. You can see the extension extending from north of Madagascar up into India. We've got uh, oranges here representing dry uh, sinking air across uh, Thailand. We've just seen one record after another. And of course we've got uh, weather the normal conditions across Africa here. And also weather the normal conditions extending from off the eastern seaboard of the United States up towards the British Isles here as well. But what's interesting about the, the rainfall here across Africa is with a, a favourable Madden Julian oscillation, increased rainfall, we're seeing a, a more pronounced enhanced African easterly wave train. So the African easterly jet. Uh, is healthy. We're seeing it getting fed here from the Western Indian Ocean. That's getting fed into Ethiopia. We're getting the convection and it's running along way east to west on the African Eastly Jet. And what you're seeing is that's extending out into the Atlantic. So that is favourable for development here. And of course you need the seeds in the first place to develop the storms and certainly with this setup here, this is in the week two, we can see here increased precipitation here across equatorial Africa and that is extending out over the Atlantic here. So over the next few weeks we need to watch the Atlantic for development. Dry in the Gulf of Mexico, that is a good sign for the United States. But the problem is that as we go into the following week, so this is into the period from the 13th to the 20th of July, what we're seeing is we're continuing to see this above normal precipitation extending out into the Atlantic. But 